hi welcome to data on my view in this video i'm going to show the latest feature which is enabled in sql server 2016 reporting services that is power bi so it is going to be a technical preview now so i'm going to show the technical preview of power bi integration in sql server 2016 reporting services so i'm going to make use of azure virtual machine so in that virtual machine they have already installed the latest service pack to get technical preview of power bi all right go to new or go to virtual machine and click add So it will load uh, the virtual machine's uh, settings. So it's a place to search SQL Server, or straight away you can type reporting services. So here you can see one option called SQL Server Reporting Services Technical Preview. Select this template and click create and you have to pass the information of basic settings settings summary and by so we have to uh, fill these informations so which is as like a normal uh, virtual machine creation all right so once you have configured in the fourth step you have to uh, purchase the license for this technical preview virtual machine so once that is done it will take uh, at least 5 to 10 minutes to configure in the back end so once the machine is configured now you can access the machine so i have configured already so i'm going to show that machine so here you can see sql vm is a technical preview reporting services technical preview uh, template based virtual machine so i'm going to open that machine so this is a machine so here they have already installed SQL Server, uh, SQL Server reporting services also configured and even they installed uh, SQL Server data tools, Power BI desktop. So the applications which we uh, require to uh, test this Power BI technical preview integration is everything is available. So let us just click this SSRS preview. So it is going to show the reporting services URL. So they already uh, have uh, many KPIs, mobile reports, patient-related reports, uh, even Power BI desktop reports. So this is the section which we want to uh, discuss now. So this feature has enabled in this latest service pack of SQL Server 2016. So before that this section was not there. So we can't have uh, our Power BI reports under uh, one roof uh, which is nothing but SQL Server reporting services. So we used to have a uh, Power BI services, which is web browser based one. There uh, we need to have a separate reports on Power BI. If uh, a customer using both Power BI and SSRS, they have to use two different uh, environment to access the reports. But now everything is integrated into a single reporting services. So if I click uh, one of these Power BI report, it is going to show uh, all the customized visuals uh, all the informations as like uh, we see in the power bi services so everything is same there is no changes in this uh, integration so the rest of the things are just uh, common uh, on uh, sql server 2016 so let us see in detail about this one so how we can create a report and uh, how we can deploy the report so usually uh, we used to have uh, visual studio sql server data data tools to create uh, ssrs or ssis ssis uh, packages so when we create a reports it is going to be rdl uh, that file uh, will be uh, available in this visual studio project and solution so we are we will deploy that uh, rdl into the reporting services uh, web service url so once we deployed we can access through this uh, browser so but here power bi is the report which we can't create on a sql server data tools 
because as we know power bi is the report which we can build via power bi desktop so power bi desktop is the tool which will be useful to create power bi reports so it means we'll have a two different reporting uh, environment report designers one is uh, sql server data tools to to just create our normal ordeals uh, ssrs uh, our uh, normal reports ssrs reports for power bi desktop we have to uh, use this tool uh, to create power bi reports so how we can deploy this so if here we have a sample uh, power bi power bi reports there are two ways to deploy these reports into the this url so for example i'm just deleting this now i have a sample product inventory and sample sales report here i have uh, three different reports i have deleted this report now i'm going to add this report into the url uh, or the portal so how i can do that i can do in one way through upload this option go to upload and choose your uh, sample reports and click that report which you want to upload and click open all right once you uploaded you can see that uh, report again came back to the same uh, section so the, this is the one way to uh, upload the reports power bi reports into your uh, reporting services url the other way is we can publish via uh, power bi desktop itself so we can save the report into the url directly so we need this url so before that let me uh, delete this report sample sales report with to show a demo we will try to deploy via power bi desktop all right now i have only two reports open this and uh, so here you can see two options open from report server and open other reports so i'll choose other reports i'll go to desktop and i'll open the sample sales report so now uh, so this publish button you already know right so the using this publish button we can deploy or publish this report power bi report into power bi services now our motive is to publish this report into reporting services you are right so go to file and click save as under save as you have a local file option and sql server reporting services option so we have to go this section reporting services section and we have to pass our url web service url so all right go to here paste so now i just copy pasted click okay so here it is showing the available reports two reports are available and i'm going to save the report with the same name click okay it is saving to the reporting services close and go to this page and refresh this page so now you can see that uh, sample sales report has deployed or published from power bi desktop application so now the end user can have the good experience like they can access ssrs reports and as well as new power bi reports in a single roof thank you